Greetings all, it is I, Sam Barron. Welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails at Dawn. So last time, Taco Guy died. I'm so sad about that, but it actually was pretty unexpected. I think I made my surprise evident there. But anyway, this time we're supposed to be going somewhere, like we're investigating the crime scene or whatever, but we're not actually going to the crime scene, we're going somewhere else to get information. So we're going to this uh, cafe bar, and Van says, Seems they're still in the process of opening up, but I don't think that guy will mind if we come in, uh, like, earlier, so might as well just go in. If you go in the shop now, the story will progress, and yeah. So it just said, be careful. Oh. <laughs> oh my, welcome. I was waiting for you, young Van. I, I, I thought you'd come soon. And is that cute little girl with you, uh, your uh, client? My, your, your uh, cool uniform really looks good on you. <laughs> um... Honestly, don't go reading people's minds like that. <laughs> this man is very handsome. Falcon really likes these characters that speak in like a gay voice. He even uses like feminine pronouns too. I'm Belmotti, this cafe's owner and also bartender. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a something of a special relationship with young Van. Huh? Uh, he's calling him Van Chan, but I don't really want to translate it as that. We just sometimes help each other out, that's all. Although this place is coffee and cocktails are really good. He also has a lot of shady connections, and he's a pretty famous uh, informant in that field. Ah. Uh, my name is Agnes Claudel. Uh, it's nice to meet you, uh, Belmotti, uh, Mr. Belmotti. Oh my, aren't you polite? Uh, she's a nice girl, isn't she, young Van? I won't ask what the story with her is, but you came here about the old man Giacomo, didn't you? Yes. So you already know what happened, do you? Well, of course, it happened in this district. He was a disgrace to his own kind as an informer, but I still can't help feeling sorry for him, even though it was most likely his own doing that, like, got him killed. What do you mean by his own doing? <laughs> so he was up to something after all, huh? And might that have been yesterday night, but perchance? <laughs> Bullseye, it's exactly as you say. I heard about this from the police, but apparently he uh, gave the police a tip off sometime last night. Apparently he told them that a large amount of drugs uh, were being like dealt by a group of hooligans. Uh, uh, drug dealing? That's not especially uncommon, but... But that was fake information, wasn't it? Indeed, the police managed to catch a few of the thugs, but there were no traces of any drug dealings that were going on. But it seemed they were fighting with someone, but we don't know who that was yet. Oh, by the way, uh, one of the thugs that they caught apparently had this to say. Who the hell stole it? And uh, it wasn't them. Did they have like a conspirator there to do it for them or something? Uh, uh, could it be that while the thugs and these other people were trying to uh, strike a deal, Mr. Jagmo called the police and threw the place into chaos? Oh my. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that. And while everyone was panicking, he made off with this that thing that they were trying to make a deal with that wasn't drugs. And eventually that led to him being targeted by the other side of the people that were trying to make the deal. I have no idea what this something is yet, 
but that's pretty much what I figure happened as well. And also, about the way that old man Giacomo managed to outsmart those uh, two sides. It's likely that he used a certain technique. You don't think a cipher? No, ciphers are only uh, being distributed to a very few number of people right now. I imagine he used an older model and one that perfectly aligned with his goal as well. And from what I hear, there's a fair amount of them going around in the black market. Oh, you mean Rambits. Isn't that the name of the uh, fifth generation that was being used in the Republic for a while? Yeah, it's the fifth generation combat augment that was co-developed by the Verna Company and also uh, the Epstein Corporation. It used to be used by the army and the police, but after the announcement of the sixth generation, it became a tragic standard and was just swapped out for the newer versions. Apparently it was just as good as the Arcus standard that's used in the Empire, but the thing to really note about it was its stealth function. Stealth function? You mean like it could hide stuff? Yeah, but the thing it was usually used to make disappear was the user itself. You could literally just disappear like magic. How long you could maintain it for was dependent on the user's uh, aptitude, and apparently it would still get caught on like fences and stuff. But I'm sure it would be perfect for slipping into a place where the police are making a mess of things and stealing something. Let's see, that makes sense. Hmm, so you noticed. Yeah, we didn't find it in the room, did we? Uh, yeah, when we uh, heard the scream and went into that uh, service room, we didn't find anything at the scene aside from old man Giac Giacomo's uh, body. But they were in fact there. Oh, they waited for him in that room and then slit his throat. And then they use the stealth function to slip right past us and exit the scene. They certainly sound bold, these people. They're definitely not regular guys, that's for sure. I'm thinking maybe Jaegers or perhaps... Well, unfortunately, since they've got that thing they were after, it's going to be difficult chasing them down now. Nope, that's not necessarily true, huh? He really does work fast. I've sent you the base that those guys were using for the last few years. I even sent you some of the log from the security camera. Thanks, man. Uh, now we can uh, call off that debt that you owed me. <laughs> Uh, you better be careful, okay? Mm, got it. Now I owe you one. Who is that man? I see. So that old man, Giacomo, also had other hiding places too, didn't he? Do you think that the goods he might have hid there? But if we're not dealing with Jaegers, then... Hey, wait a sec, Van. You also, uh, asked Dingo to do this? <laughs> uh, he says, you have, uh, a man, lady, slash informant like me, and you rely on someone else? How unkind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not known to be faithful. Hmm. We got a lot of new surprising information, didn't we? But still, Van, uh, you really do know a lot of different people, don't you? Well, I'm always doing things for other people so that they'll help me out in times like this, you see. Hmm, I'm sure you must have done a lovely favor for those people. 
There she is. Oh, she. Huh? Huh? You robbed me of being the main character. That's what she's gonna say. So, Chira no Joren to you know, Kazeno was a key to it. I heard you were a regular through rumors, but. It seems that we'd happen to meet like this, uh, at a time like this. So, <laughs> then. Yeah. Honestly, I met Rune earlier too. This is one hell of a day. You really were doing your best to be sneaky, weren't you? I guess that makes sense since you'd be doing some pretty shady work. And I imagine you getting hauled off to the police station. Was at least half your own fault, was it not? I won't deny that, but man, news travels fast. Indeed, it does. I also saw the crime scene. Mr. Giacomo was a bit of an unsavory citizen, but as a informist, I came into contact with him, or I had. Like contact with him multiple times. <laughs> By the way, the uh, officers as well as that lady reporter from Tyrol uh, were pretty mad at you, you know. The way you messed things up for other people to get what you want. You haven't changed a bit, have you? My, my, what are you talking about? Oh. Damn, this is really awkward. Uh, um. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elaine. Uh, sorry for butting in all of a sudden. No, I don't mind. Uh, we're both pretty busy, I imagine, so... We'll have a chance to talk later. From here on out, it's first come, first served. EID, the police, and us at the guild, too. And not to mention them. Oh, the two that killed uh, Mr. Giacomo, they're probably A. Hmm, you're probably right. Uh, I guess I owe you one too. That lady just now, uh, she another of your acquaintances, Van? Oh, never mind. She said, like, oh, Van, you really know that lady? And he's like, oh, what, you know her? Uh, I guess she does appear on, like, magazines and stuff occasionally. Well, of course I know her. She's a celebrity. A clean or... or... or Claire? I think that's how you say it. She's the young ace of the Calvert Braces Guild, and the youngest to ever achieve an A rank in history. Uh, and her, like... Her nickname is Sword Maiden. She's a master of the Old Kingdom style of uh, sword play, or so the her reputation goes. But Maiden of all things, I can't help but feel bad for her on that front. Uh, um, you seem to be quite close though. Well, I used to know her when I, when I was a kid, but uh, we don't have time to be talking about that. We're nearly at the end of our journey. Let's uh, go through what we know as we move. Or let's end off the episode, please. Let me save, maybe. Oh, man. Oh, we're, we're on the train now. The goods in question, and uh, 
I think you're looking for are one and the same. There's no doubt about that at this point. A week ago, the ones who stole that from an antique shop would have been those uh, thugs. Last night, they were trying to hand that over to a group of two people. But there, were there was probably a dispute about the price. Then the police who'd received an anonymous tip came uh, barging in and when that happened, Giacomo used Ramda uh, to make himself invisible and steal the goods. But the next day, those group, that group of two people uh, managed to get uh, Giacomo. They waited to ambush him in his room and then gave him his punishment and then stole his Ramda and fled. And since Ramda is a terminal of sorts too, it'll have uh, a lot of information tools and memo applications on it too. Knowing that old man, he probably made it so you wouldn't be able to get that information easily, but using the information in his terminal, it's reasonable to assume that they're uh, going around looking at all his other hiding spots for this thing too. You mean those two are using the terminal as a, like, a clue to search for this thing? Yeah, but we also know of Giacomo's recent movements, and we managed to narrow it down to three spots where he could have hidden it. Freon Tower in the third district, and uh, Edith Central Station in the in the seventh district. And also the area around the Orbital Car Racecourse, the Grand Circuit uh, in the 12th district. And now I ask you, which place seems the most likely? Um, well, fuck if I know, they're actually asking me. Um, I'm gonna guess the racecourse just because it's on the outside of town, maybe? Uh. No, unfortunately, Treon Tower and the uh, uh, Grand Circuit have too many, like, disadvantages. All day yesterday, uh, the Tower had a Summer Festa, and the Grand Circuit had a Z1 Grand Prix, so both places were really lively. Oh, I see, the more people there are, the more likely it is to get spotted, is that what you mean? Yeah, he'd probably want to avoid the risk of uh, someone finding the entrance to one of his secret hideaways. On the road in front of the station, there's another gate that leads underground. It's in a uh, like corner that doesn't stand out very much. I think it's possible that uh, Giacomo hid the goods there. So that's where we're headed now. No. Uh, you're going to be getting off here, huh? Your dorm is close to the next station, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll make sure to settle this by the end of the day, and tomorrow I'll uh, hand you the goods. But, but uh, didn't you say you'd let me come with you? But judging by who that group of two people really are, I think I should definitely uh, draw a line here. Uh, you mean what that lady said, eh? Yeah, recently everyone's been on guard against those guys. And not just the police and the guild, uh, other crime organizations as well as uh, uh, Jaegers too. If that really is who we're dealing with, I don't think I'd be able to protect you and fight them at the same time. So, that's what's gonna happen.
おいごめんなさいおいわがままを言って Sorry for being so selfish あの探し物は私にとっては絆なんです But that thing I'm searching for, to me it's a bond of sorts. I mean, it's a bond Not just for my、uh, great grandfather, but for my mother and uh, uh, my grandmother too. No, not just that. 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 Someone died, and I might just be a burden to you, but. I still want to be there to witness it with my own eyes until the end. Be as careful as I possibly can, and I'll be ready to follow any order you give me. So please, will you let me come? <laughs> Fine, you are the client after all. You can use your weapon and arts pretty well, so. Uh. It's not like you're a complete burden. But,、uh, just like you said, prioritize your own safety above all else and be ready to follow orders from me. I'm calling this off if you、uh, don't like, follow my rules, okay? Yes, thank you so much. Hmm, it's gotten dark. Not like there's an event or anything, but there are a lot of people here. Well, it's like the entrance to the city, and there's also a lot of like、uh, department shops and stuff around here, too. I heard there's also a fancy augment shop with a, a cafe attached to it that recently got built. Oh, the Orbal Cafe, huh? It's right in front of us, actually. There's even a screen there. That definitely wasn't there two or three years ago. <laughs> and it looks right at home there, too. Honestly, this city changes so quickly. <laughs> You're right about that. Uh, it has just turned 45 minutes past six. I will now give you the news at this time. At 3 p.m. today,、uh, Gr President Graham Hart held a regular press conference at the Uh, the like, government building in Van T. Van T. U.、Uh, like, area. Oh, nice. He mainly spoke about what he thinks is going to happen with、uh, the reparation money coming from the Erebonian Empire,、uh, and like how it's set to end、uh, this year. Two years ago, the、uh, Empire started a one sided war with us, and、uh, we forgave them for that with our like,、uh, forgiving heart. The amount of money that we received as reparations was indeed huge. However, it was all、uh, justified. 
玉を水に流し大陸諸国の一員として復帰する手助けすらした大家とも言えるでしょう After all, we'd endure tyranny from the Empire for hundreds of years. Not to mention, we also、uh, help them get back on their feet as a, a country of the continent. So you could call that money our compensation for doing that. Waga Kuni to Tekoku, Krosberg, Mo Fukme, Katstenai Hodo Heon, the Kankeo, Kizukuni, that teams. And at present, this country, as well as the Empire, Uh, and even Crossbell are enjoying a very peaceful relationship never seen before. That money that we got from the Empire certainly helped us achieve this. And since its ending, there have been voices that have been concerned that we might be going into an economic slump. But I'd like to tell you that that's.、Uh, Unfounded worry. Thanks to the economic growth,、uh, the amassing of capital, and the technological advancements we've enjoyed over these past two years, the Calvert Republic has now become、uh, the strongest like, nation on the continent of Arabonia. Now, not a single country can threaten us. However, we can't afford to be conceited with this fact. I believe that as we are now the leaders of the continent, no, of the world, we should、uh, focus on. Guiding the other countries as well as the Empire. Roy Graham Hart, huh? I don't like how he's so forceful about a lot of things, but he's definitely、uh, shown results. He seems like an amazing guy. In his first year after being elected, our GDP's already surpassed that of the Empire's, and it's like still growing faster than we've ever seen before, even、uh, in this year. Yeah, yeah. He's put out a lot of、uh, bold plans in like, a lot of areas, not just、uh, economics. Well, you could say that the former president, Locksmith, was more down to earth than this guy, but. Well, enough talking about politics, let's get going. Not to mention, one of my rivals also has his base set up around here. Huh? Oh, I see. He means the guild. The Braces Guild? Oh, yeah, I do remember hearing that、uh, it was around the central station. They say it's darkest under the lamppost, but these guys are also, like, pretty smart. We need to beat those two people and、uh, get the goods before they do. Okay, so、uh, where's this entrance that you were talking about? Just over there. There's a gate there next to that old department store. Let's get going. Yeah. Okie dokie. But we're obviously going to do that next time. Man, this was a long fucking. Oh, shit. Let me drop my controller. Uh, But yeah. This is a pretty long episode, but. I might actually make it two, not sure yet, but either way, I'm ending it here. So I'll see you guys in the next one when we go and raid this、uh, secret house. So I'll see you guys then.